Hello, this is Toby Barris with DMMasters.com. Today I'll be talking about how to extend the text mining capabilities of Statistic with R. Last summer, on June 9th, 2013, I talked about how to text mine PubMed XML. There was a follow-up question that was posed by a reader on October 7th, 2013. The question was posed, how to determine phrases of interest to be included in the text mining using Statistica? I had to respond to that by saying that there were no capabilities within Statistica to be able to do that. But I had proposed that there, there may be to use R to be able to extend the capabilities and do that particular functionality and then include the phrases that were found using R in Statistica. So let me just remind you that here is the text mining dialog box in Statistica data miner, text miner. I have have the migraine abstracts that I used in that June 9, 2013 blog post. And I have selected abstract as the text variable, which is this variable one. And it flows very naturally in how you select things as far as like what, how many words you're going to keep and so forth. But when you get to the, the words, the stop words are defaulted here. We could add or subtract depending on what we wanted. And it's also very to add synonyms later on. After you do the text mining, you can uh, combine words that you find that are similar. So the only challenge is, is that there's no automation in finding phrases that are, occur often in the text article or the, in these journal articles that we have here. So it would be nice to do an analysis of n-grams, a terminology that is commonly used. It would be nice to find the n-grams using R so you can put those into the phrases and then continue on with the text mining project. It would also be nice to use R because we could use the data that's already in Statistica and not have to leave Statistica to get the results. And so what I'm going to show you today is that I have this um, R macro that I will post this blog so you can try it yourself. And I'd just like to point out a few things here. One thing is, is that you're going to be using the Arweka package and also the TM package. And Arweka uses requires Java. And one thing that you'll you might find is that it, the the Java home path might need to be specified, and so that's why this first couple lines of code are present in this macro. So this will just you'll avoid some headaches if you'll add those first two lines. You of course will need the the library to call these these packages and then PubMed is an object that's defined as the active data set which is going to be the Statistica spreadsheet and then we're going to redefine that as the first column in that spreadsheet. Okay so the rest of these are either functions from TM or from Arweka. The one thing that, that makes this work is the Arweka because you're going to use this tokenize um, biogram tokenizer that is from Arweka. Okay, and the skip words or the stop words, I used primarily the words that are in the stop words included in Statistica in a text file. I also did add one more word, EPUB, because that really was not of interest to me, and so I, I removed that. Some other things to point out here are that I'm looking for phrases that are either two or three words, and it's very easy. You can change those. Uh, you can change this to four, five, however many words you want to be included in the phrase. And then once you do find the frequent terms, you can put specifications on where to cut off. So in this case, I have only kept phrases that at least have 20 incidences. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this macro so you can see what the output looks like. So it calls the packages, it strips the, the words out, does the other functions, and then we come up with these phrases at the in a statistical workbook. So there's increase risk, migraine aura, migraine without, and migraine without aura. So actually this migraine without is probably not of interest. Probably the ones we want to include are migraine, migraine aura, migraine without aura, and risk factor. Maybe increased risk as well.
So the 95 confidence interval doesn't make any sense in this case, I believe. So these are things that we could just go back now and include these phrases in our Statistica text mining dialog box right here. Spare it, we could edit. And then we could just go ahead and, and type those in. So And just so that you can see how that works, we'll just uh, put an index. And you'll see that that phrase is included. And there were 17 counts in 13 files. So by using the output of the n-grams from R, we could see if the text mining uh, results and feed that into our our predictive algorithm to see if that would help us to get better prediction accuracy. So there you have it. Um, I hope this will be of use to you. I think you could easily modify the code that I'm providing to help you to you find n-grams in any of the text mining applications that you're doing with Statistica. Thanks for listening and I will be back in two weeks.